Greetings, adventurers. My name is Kramer, and welcome to yet another episode of Cooking Anachronism, where I, in my modern kitchen, make a food that is not entirely so modern. Uh, today, we're making a very, very simple recipe for leek soup. All of the ingredients are going to be listed down in the description below, as well as the link to the cookbook that this recipe comes from, which is A Feast of Ice and Fire, the official Game of Thrones cookbook. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up our mushrooms. Now the recipe says to dice them. I didn't quite do that, but it ended up all okay. And then we're going to thinly slice the leaves, making sure only to use the white and the light green parts because we do not eat the dark green leaves of the leaf. The next very simple step is that we're going to put two cups of beef broth or beef stock, or it could be chicken as well, into a pot with a couple sprigs of saffron, and we're going to let that come to a boil. Once it does, we can add the rest of the ingredients. That is all the mushrooms and all of the thinly sliced leeks. Salt and pepper to taste. Now, something that I do have to add is that some of these recipes are going to require spices that are very expensive or maybe hard to just find, even if you can afford them. So I highly encourage you to do a little bit of research to see what it is that you can uh, substitute in and out. For instance, we didn't have ground mace or ground coriander, but we do have um, this spice mix, which I used in this video here to make a mulled wine. So that is what we used for this. We just used a little pinch of that, the salt and the pepper, and then some more ground ginger. We're gonna let that simmer for three to four minutes uh, until all of the leeks have broken down, and then it's ready to serve. This soup would go great with any sort of bread, whether you're making your own or if you are purchasing it at the store. So I like to taste the broth first, just to see. That has a lot of, it's not, I wouldn't describe it as spicy, but it does have like a warm kick to it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that's from actually, because it doesn't taste like pepper. It could be the leeks, honestly. I don't eat leeks that often. Um, in my day-to-day -day life. So I don't really know what they're supposed to taste like, to be honest. But that is a really interesting, it's a very clear, very wholesome sort of broth, the sort of broth that you, you wanna be having when you're sick. It reminds me very much of, if you ever go to a Japanese restaurant and they have like onion clear soup or something like that, it tastes a little bit like that, um, but with leeks rather than onions. And I imagine the same recipe would work if you used onions instead of leeks. I'm gonna try one of the mushrooms along with one of the leeks now. I'm gonna try to get a little spoonful. Yeah, I don't know where that spice is coming from. It's definitely not the leeks. The leeks are very mild. And the, um, the mushroom there, which I'm having trouble getting out of my spoon. Yeah, the broth is really interesting and all of the ingredients just sort of fade into the background, in my opinion, to soup with just a little bit of uh, rye bread here. It is soup and bread. It is soup and bread. I'm a man of simple tastes. I don't know what to tell you. Well, thank you for joining me this episode as we tried a very simple recipe. Highly recommend you try this one at home. It's very, very tasty, very simple, easy to do while you're camping potentially. I will see you next time. In the meantime, I'd like to wish you good luck on your adventures.